Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another Databricks video. Today's video would be about column reordering in Databricks. As we know in traditional databases, what we have to do is actually create a temporary table, drop the original table, recreate it with the right column ordering, and then insert the data from the temporary table into the newly created table, and also drop the temporary table. So a lot of steps for this workaround, right? Thank God in Databricks we have a direct solution. Now, I have to mention here that column reordering in Databricks is also related to performance optimization. Why? Because when we are using Delta tables, the Delta engine collects statistics for the first 32 columns so we can improve the performance. We don't have to scan all the files. Now, this process is called data skipping. But what if we use more than 32 columns? Let's say we are using column 33 in our queries. Then we will have to scan all the files because we collect statistics by default for the first 32 columns only. Now, if we change the order of column 33, then we will start collecting statistics for this column as well. That means that we will increase the performance. Let's take a look at the documentation about data skipping. Okay, so we have data skipping for Delta Lake. Data skipping information is collected automatically when you write data into a Delta table. Delta Lake on Databricks takes advantage of this information, minimum and maximum values, null counts and total records per file at query time to provide faster queries. You must have statistics collected for columns that are used in Z-ordering statements. Specify Delta statistic columns. By default, Delta Lake collects statistics on the first 32 columns defined in your table schema. For this collection, each field in a nested column is considered an individual column. You can modify this behavior by setting one of the following table properties. Or you can reorder the columns that you want. Table properties can be set at table creation or with altered table statements. Now, updating this property does not automatically recompute statistics for the existing data. This is something that we will see in a little bit. So, you change the order of the column, but then it doesn't change automatically the older statistics, right? That uh, they have already been computed. You have, what you have is to run this command here. Rather, it impacts the behavior of future statistics collection when adding or updating data in the table. Delta Lake does not leverage statistics for columns not included in the current list of statistic columns. You can manually trigger the recomputation of statistics for a Delta table using the following command, analyze table, table name, compute Delta statistics. Perfect. We will see that in a bit. Okay guys, so in our Databricks environment, here we are going to create a data frame with 33 columns. Now, we are going to insert uh, two records in this uh, Delta table. The first one contains only one values and the second one contains uh, twos, right? And then we provide the schema, which is 33 columns. We uh, display the data frame and then we save it as a table, as a delta table called uh, with table name example. So let me run this, uh, this cell here and let's uh, see the table. Okay, it's being created. Give it a second. Right. Then let's query this table. So as you can see, this is the table, 33 columns. First row contains ones, second row contains twos. If we select from this Delta table, we will see the same results here. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, if you check 
Now this is the DBFS location that the table is being stored. I don't have to actually uh, select something from here, but let's do that. This is the table again, and then here, if you uh, use the FSLS function, you are going to see the delta logs. Now, if we go into catalog and then browse DBFS, you will see under user, hive, warehouse, example, like we have this delta log folder, which contains the JSON files uh, that we are going to collect statistics. And this would improve Delta Engine, use this to improve the performance. And here is the actual Parky data. Let's go back to our example. So here we have this uh, JSON file. So if we query this JSON file, well, that has 000, let's see what we get. So select everything from JSON. And here you can see that we have Number of records, minimum values, you can see null counts, maximum values. The statistics we were talking about here, that's for row zero and that's uh, for, yeah, the first row and here is for the second row of data. Same thing. Now, if we use the alter table command to change the column uh, th uh, to 33 to first, then you will see here uh, that uh, column 33 is going to be the first column. Now uh, something to mention here in the JSON that I forgot to mention is here you see the max values and the min values. It, uh, we collect statistics up to column 32, right? So there is no column 33 here. Now we are going to change the order and place column 33 as the first column. So let's do that. Okay, and let's select from this table. You will see now it's column 33, right? And then let's see the delta log folder again. So we have a new, uh, a newly created JSON. So let's query this JSON, the newly created JSON. And here, as you can see, operation parameters, column, name, C33, uh, position first, right? So we changed this uh, column here and it's the first column but okay now so let's insert two new records and as you can see i passed the schema as uh, as it was before with column number uh, 33 at the end but so let me do that but actually nothing will change in the actual schema so let's uh, let's uh, select from this table and see, column 33 is actually there, stays on the first place, and we have inserted all the values. Perfect. Now, if we check uh, the delta log here, for example, here we have now JSON number two, right? So let's select from JSON number two. You will see here that the mean values and the max values now column 33 is at the beginning right for these two new uh, newly inserted records but only for these two newly inserted records the a uh, column 33 is at the beginning so if you check for the first two records that we inserted then column 33 is still at the end uh, before uh, we run this analyze command, we can also use alter table, uh, change column, and you place column after a specific column. So if you don't want uh, th column 33 as the first column, then you can use the after keyword here and place it wherever you want. So if we run this one, and now select from the table, here now column 33 is after column C5, right? And then let's check the logs again. Let's check JSON number three. Here we have the uh, position after C5, the command that we run. Okay, so uh, if we check uh, now 
the first two records were inserted when column 33 were, was at the end, meaning that we don't have statistics uh, for column 33 for the first two records. We have statistics for column 33 after we performed the column reordering and uh, but also but that means that we uh, have statistics only for part of the data how can we fix that right well we can use this analyze table command and use compute delta statistics now let's do that Okay, now let's see the delta log folder again. It, we should have a new version created here. Yeah, version 4. So let's query version 4. And now, as you can see, all the data, all the rows have placed the, have, uh, have collected statistics for column 33, which is now after column C5 and for all the values, so for uh, record number three, as you can see here, then for record, for the first record, and then for the second record, and then for the third record, right? So for all the records now, we, collect, we collected statistics for this column, which was placed after column C5. This is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, something very very simple about the Delta Engine, but something that is rather useful on a practical level. Please click the like button if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.